The impact of the, the oil price drop off on global upstream spending has been absolutely huge. Actually, at Wood Mackenzie, we estimate that capital investment in fields has dropped off by about 22%. That's $620 billion between 2016 and 2020. Now, the majority of that is made up by companies deferring projects, by shelving projects, and also cutting spend in producing fields. But there's also an element of cost deflation in there too, because the demand for the supply chain has dropped off massively as well and that has reduced costs consequently. So I think pretty much every country in the world that produces oil has been affected by the drop-off in oil price and has seen capex cuts. The deepest cuts have really come onshore US in the lower 48. We estimate that investment there has halved in 2016 and 2017. That's a fall of $125 billion. And that's really made up by a big drop-off in drilling onshore US. Probably one of the less affected regions worldwide would be the Middle East and that's because some of the countries there are really looking to spend to retain market share and for instance Saudi Arabia we haven't really seen a drop off in investments since oil price drop. The oil price drop has had a big impact on, on production worldwide. We estimate that 7 billion barrels of oil equivalent less will be produced between 2016 and 2020. Now the near term impact of, of the oil price drop on production is around about 5 million barrels a day less in 2016 and 6 million barrels a day less in 2017.